You're watching Let the Quran Speak. Now we answer questions we receive from you, our viewers. If you have a question, visit our website, quranspeaks.com. Dr. Shabir, the question is, do Muslims believe they are created in God's image? Mm. So uh, the, the, we, we need to uh, tease out some background exactly. for this because, uh, you know, the question might actually be so, be surprising to some Muslims. Like, mm -hmm. what is meant by God's image? Mm -hmm. Because uh, for, for Muslims, God does not look like anything we, we know. We cannot imagine, uh, like, conceptualize a, a, a God in some form. Mm -hmm. um, so we, we are we are told since we are children that uh, you know angels uh, are like this. Angels are neither male nor female. So we 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 realize from childhood in our Islamic teachings that uh, we can't even visualize what angels uh, look like. I mm -hmm. mean, we may see popul popular iconography mainly from Christian sources with angels having wings and so on. But and the Quran in fact says that angels have wings or, or describes some angels as having wings. Uh, but but they're not physical beings like like us. They're spiritual beings. When we think about God in the Muslim conception, God is even beyond that. God is transcended. He is referred to in the Quran as Al A'la. He is you know above everything. And the Quran says La tudrikul absar wa huwa yudrikul absar wa huwa latiful khabir. And no vision can grasp him, but he grasps all vision, and he is subtle yet aware. Uh, so. God is that subtle being. Uh, the, the Bible describes him as the hidden God in the book of uh, Isaiah. Yet, uh, to, to tease out that background a little bit more, in, in our sister religions of Judaism and Christianity, uh, this was already discussed, and that's largely where the question seems to come from. Is it a biblical concept? Uh, he, he, well, yes. In the book of Genesis, in chapter 1, it says that on the, you know, God created things day 1, day 2, day 3, then on the 7th uh, day God rests. On the 6th day, God created human beings, and then it says, in the image of God, he, uh, he made them. Hmm. Uh, so uh, it's interesting that he made them in the image of God, which means male and female. God made them male and female in the image of God. He made them. Mm -hmm. uh, so what does that mean for what God looks like? It, it, does it mean that God is both male and female? Uh, this is especially interesting to feminists uh, because for a long time the traditional view has been that God looks like a man and God is addressed as father. And, and though he, um, it, you know, God is shown to have some um, traditionally feminine qualities like, you know, nurturing and gathering um, uh, people and, and so on. Um, Nonetheless, the, the prevailing image of God is that of a father and, and, and of, of a man. And now in, in the book of Genesis, we see that uh, God sometimes comes down in the form of a human being as a man. And, and he appears, for example, to Abraham. And then he dines with uh, Abraham, apparently. Uh, so the, the idea of God looking like a man, this became the prevailing image and uh, modern feminists, uh, you know, are some paying, it, paying some attention to the idea that uh, God is somehow both male and, and female, mm. because that's literally what the verse seems to entail. God created them in his image, male and female, he made them. They're thinking about this imagery for God, however, uh, Jewish uh, interpreters like Maimonides, uh, they have said that uh, what is referred to here is not a physical um, uh, form of God, but that, that human beings are created like spiritually, mm. uh, like God in some, in some way. And I think this is where the Islamic tradition can pick up. The, the Islamic tradition says, Allahu Adama fi suratihi. Uh, this is mentioned in Sahih al-Bukhari as, as an authentic hadith, that God created Adam in his image. Mm. Uh, now, if the Prophet, peace be upon him, said that, then what it must mean is that uh, the, the same kind of spiritual meaning that Maimonides uh, referred to, because in the Islamic concept, uh, just like the Jewish concept, God does not have this physical form. So it must mean that just as God is kind and compassionate and so on, human beings have been created with this, also given intelligence, and language, uh, which sets human being, which set human beings uh, uh, in distinction uh, from uh, other uh, created physical things that we see on Earth. Thank you for sharing those interesting insights, Dr. Shibir. You're welcome. If you enjoyed this video, click like and subscribe, and please donate to support our work at QuranSpeaks.com.